I'm Alison, I'm a project manager. I've been living in Bristol for uh, about 20 years. Umitsuku was convicted of uh, fraud. One of them was for a treatment for his mother, which was false. And the other was uh, to pay some fines that customs in Heathrow had uh, supposedly charged him with, which was false. So he pleaded guilty to those as they could be proven. That totaled to about 14,000, but in reality I lent him about 25,000 for a, a supposed breast cancer operation, um, which he very convincingly led me to believe was true. Well, for anyone that knows Bristol, I met him in the Georgian Dragon on Church Road. I'd, I'd seen him a couple of times in there. He asked me to send me his number and he he uh, encouraged me to go to a boxing exercise class and it just seemed that we made a connection and um, we started going out. It was in on our first trip abroad to Tunisia that he broke down crying and said his mum had been diagnosed with breast cancer and uh, he was struggling to access his money in Istanbul. I wasn't comfortable transferring him the money but I felt it felt like we were a serious couple already. I felt it was almost my duty to help him and he kept promising you know that this money was coming back to me. And also after a few months after meeting him, he helped me arrange the funeral for my mum. And that was very upsetting because he showed genuine distress and got to know my family. He even kissed my mum in a coffin. So it was very upsetting to, uh, to not know if any of that was genuine. He then continued to lie to me to, to extract money from me. I, I had already suspected him, if I'm being honest, but I couldn't figure out how on earth I was going to retrieve my money. So I spoke to his first wife and she told me that, uh, you know, there was no way that operation took place. Yeah, I approached the police when I realised that he'd been conning me out of money. One of the officers told me to give myself a slap and uh, get a good solicitor. Fortunately, this was looked into and, and another officer took my case on and it's led to a successful conviction. Just want to let people, you know, be aware that these kinds of con artists start off small. They ask for a small amount of money to see if you're willing to lend them money. And, a, you know, set up a bank transaction between yourselves. And then, you know, they take a chance and then ask you for a, a slightly higher amount. And as you know, it doesn't take long to fall for someone sometimes. So after a few months, it, it just, the stories continue. It's been a an ordeal that I don't want others to go through.